welcome back to my channel. Today we are here in the kitchen making our first amazing meal for 2022 and we are going to be kicking this year off with one of my favorite all-time winter recipes, short braised ribs. This recipe takes about three to four hours, but honestly, it's worth every single minute. All right, let me show you what we're cooking with. Okay, so here's what we're going to be working with today. I'm going to be making, this is my mom's recipe. She gave me this book of all her recipes when I got married. And it's a really basic recipe. I have about five pounds of beef short ribs, which I'll show you exactly how these are cut. You're gonna to wanna to go to a specialty meat shop to get these because they don't usually sell them at most grocery stores. I've got some celery, some carrots, onion, garlic, simple mirepoix. Then I'm gonna be using a little Italian parsley and then some thyme, sage, a little bit of rosemary, some butter. I'm gonna need a lot more than that, but I just wanted to get that out to start with. And then I have red wine using a Zinfandel, Merlot, Cabernet. I usually like to use something that's really full bodied. So I have a bottle of red wine, some beef broth, and then I'm gonna be finishing it with some polenta. You could also do mashed potatoes or even, I always like to use like a nice egg noodle or a fettuccine uh, on the bottom. But anyway, that is all you need for this recipe and let's get cooking. Before I cook anything, I always pre-prep all my ingredients. I always find that it helps me kind of stay a little stress-free in the kitchen since I don't just make simple dishes. I always try to, I don't know why, I just really enjoy cooking. So a lot of times my simple dinner for our family of six is always pretty elaborate. So I like to pre-prep everything so I don't get flustered or stressed out. So for this recipe, all I'm gonna do is just roughly chop up a couple carrots and some celery. I'll definitely link this recipe down below. I've already put it on my website, so if you wanna head over there, you can check it out there and download it. But I'm gonna be cutting that up, some onions, get the garlic ready, and just get everything ready to go and on the side of my stove. ribs look incredible. I wanted to tell you if you guys are going to go buy these, there are two different ways you can get short ribs. They're either flanken, which is um, very thin. You see that a lot of like Korean barbecue or riblets. And then this is English style. So each piece has a full bone in and it also has a little kind of membrane on the back. When I go and order mine, I always ask them to remove the membrane for me. Otherwise you can do it yourself. There are a ton of videos on how to do that. Prior to cooking them, I like to season them with a little bit of salt and pepper, kind of let them rest while I'm gonna be bringing up some olive oil in a Dutch oven. We'll get to that part next. Okay, so over here I've got our celery, carrots, onions, garlic. I have these beautiful short ribs, all seasoned, just with salt and pepper. Look at how big those are. Oh my gosh, you guys. What I love about this recipe is these actually fall off the bone. They're super delicious and so good to eat during the winter. They're just gonna warm up your whole body. So over here, I have our Dutch oven. I get a lot of questions about this big boy. This is actually an antique. Um, and I, I have a couple of them, but this is the biggest one I have. I think this is a 12 quart, I wanna say. I don't know, I'm not sure. Maybe it'll stay on here. Uh, no, it does not. Anyway, it's a big boy, but I like to do my short ribs in these. What we're going to do is we're going to cook these up with a little bit of olive oil and butter in here. We're going to sear them on all sides. Then we're going to get the wine in there, our vegetables in there, our seasonings in there, herbs in there. Bring that all to a nice boil, and then we're going to pop it in the oven for about three hours. All right, let's get cooking. <laughs> Thank you. 
I can't help but add a little bit of butter while I'm searing these, but once that's all melted, I'm gonna go ahead and start skin side down. I like to finish all of the sides and then do the top and bottom. Basically what we're gonna do is sear these until each side is nice and crispy golden brown. We don't wanna fully cook them because we actually are gonna do that in the oven, but we just wanna lock in all the moisture and flavor. I find if you just put it straight into the Dutch oven and bake it, all the flavor falls off and the fat just doesn't really incorporate well with the wine. So what I like to do is sear everything on each side, slowly allowing each piece of the rib to hold up the others while we get each side, probably like one to three minutes depending, just keep checking it. You'll see it has a nice crispy golden brown crust on it. While those are cooking, I also like to continue to add olive oil as needed and I make sure that everything stays in the pan because we're gonna use those little brown bits later. Once all of the sides are done, you can take them out, set them on the paper beside you, and start the next batch. I usually like to do these in batches of four. Today we're going to be using eight short ribs in total. this sit for a second I'm gonna be adding a little beef broth in here just to get it um, you can kind of see it smoking a bit so what we want to do is put a little beef broth in there after we reduce the temperature so it stops burning and then we'll start to whisk off all the brown bits because that gives it some really great flavor so you don't want to throw that away but here are all eight of our beautiful ribs here they look amazing this kind of gristly part you see here this like kind of white fatty part you want to keep that that's going to give it some really great flavor and that fat will actually kind of keep the moisture in these ribs as well so over here we have our onions and garlic I'm going to start with those kind of reduce those down for a minute or two and then we'll throw in our carrots and celery our herbs and our wine get all of that ready to go put in a bunch of butter then we'll return all of our ribs back to the pot let that come to a boil and then put it into the oven. Okay, let's keep cooking. Look how pretty this little room is. You could turn this into a gravy if you guys just wanted to add a little bit of flour in there. That could make a great gravy as well if you were making a different dish, but you got all the salt, pepper, and the fat, and you've just got a little bit of that. But anytime you guys have those uh, little brown bits in the pan, just add a little water or a broth, and it'll come right off. All right, I'm gonna throw in my onions. And we've got our garlic here. Terrific gravy. 
just gonna let that cook down for a bit and we'll come back. Once you've cooked down your vegetables, we can go ahead and add the wine. This is just one 750 ml, just a single bottle of wine of Cabernet. I'm going to add my spices in here. I love how the butter immediately rises right to the top. That's some good fat right there. So we've got thyme, we've got rosemary, and we've also got some bay leaves. I'm going to mix all of that up. And then once it comes to a boil, I'm going to start to add my short ribs. Once you get all of your short ribs in there, I like to top it with some beef broth. That way none of the short ribs are sticking out. It will dry them out if they're not totally submerged. So I just like to add a little beef broth. You could also add some more wine if you prefer it. But I'm going to get all of this to a boil, throw the lid on, and put it in the oven for about two hours. I will put a link down below for my website where you can actually get the recipe and make this at home. It's super easy to make and it's so delicious. If you're super busy during the day and want to make this ahead of time and have it ready to serve at night, it just sits in the oven and it's so easy. Oh my God, this looks so delicious. Okay, a couple things I wanna say. I'm gonna be adding polenta underneath those just cause it's my favorite thing to do, but it really makes a difference. If you are gonna be adding vegetables to this, you do need to cook them away from the meat. I typically don't serve this with the carrots or celery. I always find that it's much better to just add some vegetables on the side that don't cook in the meat with the bone broth. But anyway, this looks so good. I wish you guys could smell how good this is. I add just a little fresh parsley on top because I love the way it tastes. It's so fresh, but here they are, fall off the bone short ribs. This recipe is so simple and so delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're returning, I cannot wait to share so much more with you this year. It has been so much fun last year. I cannot even wait to see what we do this year. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I'll see you real soon. Bye.